Hello, people, and welcome back to Septic. Through my uh, progress here, I've learned that um, we're going to need Stardust, right? For a, let's see here, for a lot of things. And I've I've come into the problem of it, and I've I've figured out. Well, I've learned through my research on how to so making star metal ingots. You know, all the stuff that you need them for. It's just crazy, right? Or even the stardust. This is all the stuff you need the stardust for comes in, comes into play. Having to make all these different things to make the components for the for the crafting tables and stuff. So I was like, okay, well, I had to do a lot of research to figure out how to do it. And I figure in this episode, I'll show you how I started farming stardust. So what you need to do is uh, out in the open, I, I'm assuming, that's why I, I put it out here. You have to make these little holes to grow these crystals. And so if you make these crystals, if they're not, um, particles aren't coming off of them, they're not fully grown. So when you see them, even though they look big, but there's no particles coming off of them, oh, those do anyway, um, they're not fully grown. I've been out here idling for a while, so most of these, maybe this one's, yeah, this one's a little bit smaller. No, it's got particles coming off of it as well. So if you chop the, or break them up now, I'll show you how to make them. If you smash them, you'll get two stardust. Uh, one, you need one to remake and you have one like that. But supposedly, if you have a tool with luck on it, I got this hammer with luck three. Now, if you break them with this or any tool that has luck on it, I just have it on this one, you'll get, see, I got two more. I got, um, I guess it didn't work, did it? That was two and two. So that was no different. Huh. Let's try it on here. Yeah, well, I guess it's only two you get. No, luck doesn't matter. So I, I guess it only farms um, one to one. So I broke three. I've only gotten three of these, right? Yeah. So if we have a uh, six stardust... I'll try one more. This got particles coming off of it. Here, these two got particles coming off of it. Six, seven, eight. All right, yeah. So it's, it only get one to one, even if you use luck. And I was told that luck would uh, fortune and looting would make it uh, up it, but it doesn't look like it. Well, maybe there is another silk touch or something that'll work. Anyway. So what you want to do to grow these so you can farm the stardust is you will need stardust and you'll need the, um, I don't know if this blue ones work. I don't think they do. You'll need to go mine some, these might work. We'll try it. We'll try one of the blue and one of the white. I have some of the white ones over here. I've been doing this a while now, so that's why I got a lot of stardust and I have my uh, crystal mine. But if you take, um, let's see here, a bucket, and you get some stardust here, uh, starlight from the light well, and you can take these crystals that you gather from breaking these and put them in here to, to harvest, more, uh, harvest more light. So if we take and we put um, light liquid light back in these holes. Now, oops, there's my buckets. So now you take uh, one of these, in, um, one crystal, throw it in the hole, then take one of uh, your stardust, throw it in there. Now you can see how the blue particles are coming out. You know it's working. So what it's going to do is grow one of these. Uh, let's see if we can do it with this one, though. See if it'll work with the the blue crystals. Where are these? Uh, it might. Yeah, the purple is coming out of there, so it'll probably work with 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 those as well. Let's see here, you got to wait about uh, maybe about a minute, and it'll it'll pop over. There you go. So now you got a little because if you get too close, you'll pull them back out of there. So now you got a little tiny crystal, and it's about fifteen to twenty minutes, I think, for if you stand around for one of these to grow to a full harvestable crystal. Because if you if you harvest it now, you're just going to get one stardust back and one crystal. So basically, you, you'll waste your uh, 
your light, your uh, liquid uh, starlight. So, oops. So we'll uh, add another one here. Let those go. And I guess we'll put another one in there. And put another one of these crystals on top of this. And get the light going back in that one. And this one. Oops. Um, how do I do the white crystal? Because I put the blue one up there on the other bucket. So if I do this quickly, I shouldn't lose the stardust. There we go, purple. Okay, it's growing. So the others are growing. So there you go. That is how I, it's the only way I've found to actually grow and harvest, um, manufacture stardust. Because it's really hard to get. See, it's the only way I figured out how to get it in this mod pack so far at this level that I'm at. So I hope this helps. Hope this is informational, and then we'll continue on doing what we were doing anyway. So that's how I've been getting my stardust, just so you know. And I think it was, I think it would be a good informational for uh, a lot of people. So now we just got to keep going on doing what we're doing. So we got to keep going down these lines. We can either make a redstone engine, or we can start working on this thing here, this uh, core sampler. So let's look at that. I've, since we have steel and stuff going, it should be, whoops. It should be, what's it called? Oh, it's just a sample drill. Okay. So now we have the steel and stuff going. We should be able to manufacture all the stuff that we need. We have copper, steel fence, which is just steel and steel rods. So let's go. Uh, let's go make this sampler and see. Uh, see where we get with it. Well, this stuff uh, just keeps going. All right. Well, this mod pack is really turning in pretty cool. I mean, I'm learning this. The astral, uh, the uh, mod is really kind of neat. It's um, a little hard to figure out. The instructions is not that good, as far as what they give you in the uh, book in the game. But it's an interesting mod, I have to say. Okay, so here we go. Um, steel, okay. So we have our steel down here. Coming from our uh, our furnaces here. Our, uh, blast brick, blast furnace and our coke, coke brick furnace to get a uh, coal coke. So I made a bunch of steel over the yeah, last couple episodes. And so I've been in here, we have, we have steel. I made some steel plates. We need some steel rods. Let's, get a, let's make some of those real quick here. I mean, it's one to one. Um, I'm going to have to make that multi-block press is probably the way to do it. I'm going to have to set up the electrical power as well since I've made the, the windmill already. That would probably be uh, the best thing to set up. Iron rods and we have steel rods. So we put the steel rods in here, put our steel in here, and let's see what these um recipe is here for this thing. Alright, so we need to make scaffolding. We need four scaffolding. So this scaffolding makes six. So if we just make one of these, that should be good. And if we make fence, this makes three. So if we make one of these, that should be Plenty. So we have one rod left over. I don't know if we need any more. Okay, we need um, copper and steel ingots, uh, iron plate, and a copper for that. We need two of those. Let's see what we have in here already. Um, do we need we need steel iron plates? So we got iron plates here. We need copper ingots. I don't know if they have enough. And we need iron ingots. But let's take is this copper. It's bronze. This is copper. Let's take a, a block of this. Get it down to nine ingots. Now this should be uh, hopefully plenty. To wrap up this recipe here, let's see. To make, 
Let's make these first. Um, so we need two of these. Will they stack? Yes, good. And then we need, this makes two, so this will be good. That's exactly what we need. So we should have enough. There we go. Core sample drill. Now this does, according to this, it will take, don't forget it requires power. So we're gonna need power. So I guess we're gonna have to make a capacitor is the only way to um, move power around, right? A battery, basically it's a battery. So the low volt capacitor requires iron, copper, lead, redstone, and treated wood planks. Now I know we have all that around somewhere. I've made lead, I am, not positive, but I am pretty sure I found lead somewhere. Is it in here maybe? Nope, just iron's in here right now. Okay, let me, let me think about this. I've, I've known I found it. It's called bauxite, right? Let me put my, uh, put my map back up here. Let's see here. Um, it was in this area. Or maybe it was over in this area. No, wait, bauxite is aluminum. Here's platinum, cinnabar. There's bauxite. So okay, so bauxite's aluminum. So maybe I haven't found the lead yet. I thought I did, but maybe it's called something else that I don't know. Well, I guess I'm not going to make that until I find the lead. All right. Well, capacitor is on hold. Unless I go find some lead, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll check this. I just don't want to waste my time trying to figure out which one of these is which at this at this juncture in the video, because I, I imagine some of these over here might be lead, because these are some of the newest samples I found, and I just don't remember. But okay. Well, Scratch that. So what we can do, I think, is the engine. And I will find the lead for the capacitor after that. Let's see here. So the redstone engine. And the reason we're doing redstone engine is because it's part of this quest line right here. Craft a redstone engine to begin powering pipes. So we need it anyway to power pipes. And we'll just get it done. It'll be a good, a, uh, good little how-to for this lesson, so we need to distill. We have a lot of uh, we got a lot of power stuff. So we're gonna need the power. That's me. The next thing I have to do really quickly is set up, get the power, um, power wheels, get the water wheel going, the windmill going with the uh, the generators, generators, so we can start building those multi blocks and start powering them with low voltage, medium voltage, and high voltage. But the engine requires. Regular glass, a yeah, circuit board, which we've already made. We get some redstone, I imagine. I don't know how much each one of these makes, but I imagine, um, I'll try nine and see what we get. Because we already have a gear. Uh, cast so we do that so we need these so we need plates as well so we're gonna need to make a plate cast and we need to make that out of gold 
So unless I have one here somewhere, let's see if I have one. No, it's a sign. The plate is a it's a big ring, I think. So here's the gold. We'll put a iron plate in there and eat up one of these iron plates. And then we will pour gold on it. All right. So now we have a uh, plate cast. And we will put it in here. What is this cast knife blade? So we'll put that in there. Put the knife blade one back, make up some room here. We're done with the steel, so we'll put the steel in there. Um, same with the scaffolding. Um, I'm going to put the scaffolding in here just because I don't know what else to do with it. Hopefully I can remember that's where I put it. So we see redstone here. Redstone, one block. So if we put that in the bottom, can I make redstone? That is really weird. Supposedly, you could pour it out. Is that Well, okay, let's see here. Back pedal. Yeah, so we can cast this in a gear cast. Four ingots. Should do it. Why isn't it doing it? So let's, um, let's do it again. Maybe that wasn't an ingot, I don't know. I, sh I should have looked, no, it said one block. So one block is nine ingots, right? All right, it doesn't break down that way. So I guess we're just figuring stuff as we go here. But we should also be able to make uh, these plates. But we should be able to make a redstone ingot on this as well. So this is a little bit of baffling. close here. All right. One block. And it's on the bottom. All right. So it's not working. Even though it's in the recipe, it's not working. Well, that was weird. Huh. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to figure figure that one out as well. Unless they're forcing me and they really want me to um, use the, the, the machine press. So that's what we're going to have to do, I guess. Well, this little bit of a... A little bit of a sit back. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, that's iron coming out of there. That's why. So it does work. It is just um, not working for the redstone. That recipe is not working. So I made an iron gear and we made an iron plate. So I guess if we want to make iron plates quickly, instead of having to beat it with a hammer, we can do it this way. But we can't do the redstone for some reason. It is just not... It's not okay with that. All right. Well, um, let's see what we have here. Without those, we can't do it. But we could... No, it probably... If it won't let me do that, it's not going to let me pour that anyway. The molten redstone alloy. Yeah. Unless it'll let me do it on this, I don't know. I kind of doubt it. But anyway, let's see here. That's pretty good. We got one purple one open, 
And now we need power for this other stuff. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to get the power grid ready to go. And we're going to have to make a multi-block um, press. Let's see here. Come on. Which is have a projector for it, right? There we go, right here. The metal steel press. So we're gonna have to make this thing. And um start the um the press with electricity. Cause otherwise we are stuck with going forward with any of this stuff making the capacitor or making, right? Does the capacitor, let's see here. Was it the same? Oh yeah, for lead, I gotta go find lead. Okay, I need to go find lead instead of electricity. Alrighty, um, just to make sure that uh, I didn't already get it. I guess I should type in lead. And then check these, uh, these boxes here. All right. Well, yep. I, it would be in it would be in this area right here for sure. If I uh, if I if I got it, I might have mapped it and then haven't gone to dig it. But I'll, I'll go find it. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks for hanging out with me. You know, until we meet again. Good day. Thank you.